What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode with me, Jet Behind Descent. Today we're gonna dive in and try the holy cow Kuro Skiro. Kuro Skiro. Which translates to dark leather. So this is a sample. Very nice sample. All the way to the top. I got it from Maggards if you're wondering. This is the tallow base. Um, I'm only using water as a pre-shave because I've never used the tallow base. So we got a donkey milk. And, uh, if my phone will let me edit this time, I'll put in the scent notes and ingredients. We're going with the Phoenix Artisan. Uh, dreamscape subtle and I'm going with the same brush as yesterday the Frank shaving so beautiful brush if you haven't seen it check it out also forgot my mic so if the sound is off I'm sorry but uh, yeah so this whipped up here. Hope everyone's well. Thank you for supporting the channel and stopping by. I know everyone's busy. There's not enough time in the day, but I appreciate it. So, what we got here is seven notes. It's going to be a leather forward, so you don't like leather pass on this because it's extremely leather forward however I do have a couple soaps that are just leather and that's it this smells kind of like those but you can tell there's stuff in the background there's stuff holding these notes together so we've got leather vetiver tobacco cedar wood patchouli, oak moss, and coffee. Now, obviously, the leather is going to stick out the most. It's a very strong, the leather is a very strong note, so it's very easy to ruin all the other notes if you don't know what you're doing. Um, I get a little bit of the cedar wood. I get the tobacco will be the secondary besides the leather then I get the cedar wood along with the oak moss um, there's a little bit of boldness in the background I do pick up the coffee because I have the uh, first Canadian I believe it's called kink um, it's very reminiscent of kink um, if you've tried it uh, in my personal opinion unless you're going for just the base if you have kink I wouldn't get this because it's pretty much smells very very similar so that's just uh, my opinion coming in at $23.99 on Maggard's that's where I found it um, that's where I got this sample as well just trying to get rid of these last few bubbles I like spending a bunch of time working lather I'm just really enjoying this scuttle this time of year I got about a week's worth of uh, about five days worth of growth um, scent strength on this I give it a 6.5 out of 10 it is not overpowering. I read some <clears throat> reviews on Maggards about it. They say it's too strong. It smells like horseradish and all this strange crap they're talking about. I don't know what they're talking about. Um, I believe they bought the wrong horseradish. <laughs> or whatever. Um, razor of choice. 
It's gonna be the black land, blackbird light. With a Gillette 365 brand new in it, so. Very slick on the hands. Very, very, very slick. It's no joke. Um, a lot of people love this base. I'm sure I'll love it too. Here's the weapon. I want to try the Blackbird regular plate. <clears throat> Here are the blades. I really like these blades. I've used them before. Uh, very good blades. So let's get on with this. Yeah, it's a very mod razor for all this hair. Might not have been a good decision, but I wanted to put it to the test. Uh, it's cutting hair, that's for sure. I'm not applying a bunch of pressure either. I don't like going this long, but I wanted to see what it, this plate can do with this much growth. As you see, it's taking it off, but it just doesn't feel like it's taking much off, but it is. Uh, it's a really smooth blade as well. You can see the little gaps everywhere where it's taking it. But yeah, I need more holy call, holy cow, holy call. I don't know how to say it. Um, some people pronounce it call, some people say cow. It's spelled like call, so I'm gonna call it holy call. Um, I do have 4V in the vegan base, but um, this donkey milk tallow is really good as well. I'm just, uh, I prefer tallow. If I could choose, but I'm more of a scent over base guy. So, I mean, all the bases nowadays are gonna give you a great shave. So, most of them anyway. Like 99 out of 100 can give you an awesome shave. So, I figured I'd try it out <clears throat> this sample. Um, for some reason, I was thinking it was a uh, cigar scent but it's leather forward but you can pick up a lot of the tobacco and oak moss and a little bit of the cedar wood like I say it's very very nicely blended as you would expect from Siri or Holy Call so Really cool dude, he knows his skin stuff, he knows he's a very smart man, so. If you have not tried Holy Call, I highly recommend it. He's got stuff for vegans as well. He's got serums, he's got um, balms, splashes of course, shaved soaps, I don't know if he's made the shaving cream yet, but I'm sure he has. That was a couple years ago. So, I'm gonna have to check that out in the near future. But this is a really nice scent if you love leather. I know a lot of people don't like leather for some reason. A lot of guys don't like it. Um, don't know why, but I've always loved leather. Always. I like walking in leather jacket stores when I was younger like Harley shops and stuff like that leather goods stores just smell so good to me 
Uh, to follow up this shoe, I'm going to be going with the <clears throat> Long Rifle Brown Bess Shave Tonic. This is amazing stuff. I highly recommend it. Try it out, especially if you don't like the sting from alcohol. That's uh, perfect. And it's got a, it's a tobacco, pipe tobacco, and leather scent. So it will match this perfectly all right I got the first layer off I hate that first pass with long hair long hair now that's long hair for me as most of you know so yeah this razor super safe I don't feel like I'm gonna cut myself which obviously you can it's a razor uh, but I got this when it came out. I believe I saved like $75 on it or something. Can't remember, but it's a really nice razor. Super nice. An awesome daily driver. Uh, I love the fluted handle. I love how the <clears throat> handle screws up into the base plate and top cap instead of just stops when it reaches the surface it makes a big difference in blade chatter in my opinion they know what they're doing over at Blackland so. <laughs> but I really want to try out the original Blackbird if anybody has it and would, wouldn't mind me borrowing it see how i like it uh if you want to we can swap for a month or so and swap back it's up to you but it'd be nice because i don't want to buy it and not like it so it may be too aggressive for me i've heard people say it's so aggressive they hate it uh, but i don't know so I can't speak on that. This right here, it is mild, but it's not so mild. It's not like the era. If you've done, if you've tried the Blackland era, it's a lot more efficient than level five for the era for me. Uh, it's probably like a five. It feels like a five or a six on a adjustable Gillette. But it cuts like a nine adjustment. It's very efficient. I, I'm pretty much BBS. I just got the back of the uh, crown, which I'm just gonna do another pass. Claws. Mm -hmm. Why not? This scent's very intoxicating. I love it. I might have to get me a whole puck of this for sure. In the near future. The only um, soaps I've tried of Holy Call or scents that I've smelt is this right here, the uh, Fougere Mania, which I love this. It's like an incense y floral. And then the Vore V in this. It's all I've tried. Does anybody have any recommendations? Oh, I've tried King of Ood, but it was really good. But I mean, it's just Ood. I mean, I don't know. I can't really remember how good it was, but I do know I liked it a lot. But I don't know. What do you guys think is worthy to pull a trigger on from Holy Call? Do you prefer the vegan base or the tallow? And why, if it's the normal reason that you're a vegan, don't answer why, but uh, if you don't care and you've tried both, what do you prefer? Um, really love the long handle on this razor as well. But yeah, really reminiscent of 
damn near a carbon copy. <clears throat> I don't know which one came out first. I'm not gonna get into all that, but it does smell a lot like kink. I think kink's a little more, it's got something else in it, but this doesn't, but overall, that's the first thing that popped in my head when I got it lathered up. Not off the tub, I don't judge stuff off the tub. Um, in my experience, I've learned that you must add water for these, to judge these soaps, because it activates all the scent notes. If you just unscrew the tub and smell it and say, that's terrible, uh, you're not giving the soap a chance. So. I'm going to do a couple more strokes on the back of my head and I'm done. So. Nice little brush, breaking it in. <clears throat> Very good bag going on it. Check out Frank's brushes over at frankshaving.com. He has animal hair as well. Check out the uh, residual sweatness with the people who care. Oh, yeah. It's slick. Um, I'm not sure if it's the slickest, but it's very, very slick. It's slick enough. It does the job, that's for sure. You could shave with residual slickness if you needed to or felt like it, but you don't have to. So. All right, let's see how we did. After I go right here with no lather, that's what I've been doing for the last minute or so, 30 seconds. It's these little stupid stubborn spots. Uh, damn, damn sure, damn fine shave, without a question. Damn near BBS, I just, I just don't feel like fiddling with it, chasing it. I'm not gonna chase BBS. It pretty much is anyway, so. All right. Now. Go to the everlasting solid block alone. Cold water. Always use cold water when you're using alum. Soothes my skin better. I don't know about you, but it closes the pores better too. Perfect. Not a sting, not a burn, none of that. I dry mine off a little bit as well, then I recap it. If you're new here, welcome. Welcome to the crazy bus. Hear my shoulder? Mm. Yeah, this is really nice stuff, for real. Uh, witch hazel, number one ingredient, aloe vera liquid, aloe vera liquid. Coconut oil, grain oil, or grain alcohol, that's not much. Buckthorn extract, <clears throat> calendula extract, uh, chamomile extract, seaweed extract, polysorbate 20, which is the emulsifier, and then the fragrance. <laughs> oh yeah, pipe tobacco is coming through on top, which I was hoping. like it almost like a cherry pipe tobacco type yeah I've got my mustache pretty much trained so. I keep my goatee braided this is I mean I've taken a little bit off the end during the year but it's pretty much uh, 
February will be two years on the goatee. So, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, catch me back here next. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, I'll be back. Probably Saturday or Friday. Friday or Saturday. I might put up a short on Thursday. I'm not sure, but to remind you guys. But uh, thank you for checking in. Hope you enjoyed the shave. I hope the review helped you. If you're on the fence about this, if you have any other additional questions, leave them in the comments. Be sure and check out the description for affiliate links and all that jazz. We'll see you guys. Thanks.